Thanks to Qualcomm for sponsoring this video. So if this is the last thing I do, it's worth it for the shot. Remember this. Give it a thumbs up for this. <laughs> All right, we're good to go? Yeah. Awesome. Oof! Every year in December, we get like a tiny little sneak peek, a, a sliver of what the future of phones are going to be and what the flagship features they're going to have. Qualcomm announces their new chipset. 865 last year, 55 the year before, 45 the year before that. So this year, you'd expect it to be the 75, but they have jumped quite farther than that. This is the Snapdragon 888. I had a chance to go down to San Diego and be a part of the filming for Qualcomm's keynote, which in its own right was an amazing experience. But if you look at what this chipset can do, what it's capable of, and you can almost do a checklist of what every new Android flagship phone in 2021 is going to have. And some of it, it's kind of mind blowing. The 888, just to give you some reference, can process an insane 26 tops, uh, allowing just like crazy leaps in AI processing and boosting the image sensor processor so that it can do things like also shooting 120 high res photos at once or record three 4K HDR videos at once from different cameras on a single device. So it wasn't just like me on stage talking about a chipset. Uh, I got to race an RC car using a Snapdragon 888 reference device. The car and track were built a mile away and I was controlling it with almost like no latency at all using 5G millimeter wave. With cameras coming back and forth, it was a stupid awesome experience and I got a race against a professional RC car driver. Well, you can see how it went. <laughs> Try to drive my regular car like that. Come here. Ah. Look at that. Look at that. It's really responsive. If I can do this, that's kind of showing how low latency this is. Qualcomm went all out here. So on one of their campuses in San Diego, they built a legit RC racetrack, not just like an oval. I mean, this thing had banks, this thing had rock crawls, it had a bunch of different obstacles on it. It wasn't just an oval. Uh, they didn't do it alone though. They worked with Verizon, they worked with Ericsson, they worked with Tencent Onsite. So I got to go to the track and try it. And I, I used the Snapdragon 888 reference device while I could physically see the car. Uh, and that was fun, it was awesome. I could see the track, I could follow it around, sort of to make sure that I knew what I was doing. And obviously you need this to be fast. You can't have latency when you are on a racetrack. And a professional RC driver, she has to have immediate results. And we're able to do all of this using 5G millimeter wave. Then Qualcomm said, we're actually going to do the race a mile away. Uh, which obviously seemed like something that would be next to impossible to pull off. So like, I was like a little bit dubious, but I assumed you know, they were Qualcomm. I figured they knew what they were doing. But in the meantime, because of who I am as a person, I decided to have just like a little bit of fun. So we had an idea for a shot where I'm going to lay down and the car's going to jump me. So should clear me. If not, we have it on camera uh, and we can watch the carnage back later. Okay. Here we go. Yeah. Oh, Oof! <laughs> that came close. All right, so that was that was fun. That was playtime. Uh, then things got a little bit serious. We had to go to the new location, to to their headquarters, where we actually we're going to do the race and and film for the keynote. Uh, so we got there. And if, if my mind wasn't blown before, uh, it was like when we arrived. So they gave me my own custom race suit, uh, which not only blew my kid's mind, uh, but also set me up for Halloween uh, in 2021. So thank you to Qualcomm. But they also had racing cockpits 
set up on a stage with overhead lights and jibs and this like crazy production. So during the actual race, I think is where at least I could see what this chipset is going to be capable of. I think more importantly, like what your new phones and presumably 2021 are going to be capable of. We've sort of seen the 5G promise and this is sort of that promise like fulfilled. I mean, there were three cameras streaming in 4K. I was using gyroscopes to control a car with almost no latency. And all of this was possible using 5G millimeter wave. You think about what, you know, real use cases are. Using 5G to stream a movie or sync your photo library. If it can handle this crazy type of speed and power, the things that most people are using 5G for, uh, this isn't even gonna break a sweat. So I was testing this on like a reference device, not even a phone that's going to be released and it handled it and it handled it well and there was no like room for error. We really filmed this and all of this really happened. What you saw in the keynote was all actual things that transpired. So the margin for error um, was really razor thin, uh, but it did show how confident Qualcomm is in their 888 technology and the X60 modem RF that's part of it and how good and fast 5G is and can be. As I was sitting there in this cockpit wearing a, a racing suit, seeing what the Snapdragon 888 was capable of and what it's going to enable for, for cloud gaming, things like you know Game Pass and Stadia are really awesome. So the Snapdragon 888 is going to increase touch responsiveness by 20%. Uh, it's going to improve game performance by up to 30%. This thing has an Adreno 660 GPU. It's gonna deliver 35% faster graphics rendering. 144 Hertz display refresh rate for gaming, true 10-bit HDR gaming modes. I mean, it's a, it's a wish list that you can check off if you do gaming on your phone. And if you want the best gaming experience on a mobile, you're going to need a Snapdragon 888 device. It's that big a difference, not just for what it's going to do at launch day, but what it's going to enable developers to take advantage of throughout the course of its lifetime. It's really cool. So that was my crazy day, and I am eternally grateful to have this opportunity and call what I do a job, because um, I play with toys. And not only getting to see all the cool racing stuff and hold a reference device and see what it could do, all that stuff is fun and interesting, but to actually know what the next generation flagship phones are going to have, the insane camera features, the insane performance, the 5G connectivity that they are going to have is awesome to see. And not just read about it from, from leaks or specs, but to experience it in my hands months early before anybody else uh, was awesome. If you want the best from your phone, if you want to unlock just an insane amount of camera potential, you want really quick gaming controls, you want the best gaming fidelity available, you want the fastest connections, fastest refresh rates you can get, 2021 is going to be a really good year for you.